Hello all. Welcome to another edition of Bobby's Vinyl Views. Today, I will be reviewing the debut EP by Laura Slade Wiggins, entitled Clementine. Uh, now, if you don't know who Laura Slade Wiggins is, she is also an actress, in addition to being a musician. Uh, she plays Karen Jackson on the hit Showtime series uh, Shameless. And Karen Jackson um, is, a, is the tramp of the show, <laughs> basically. And uh, develops a relationship with one of the main characters, Lip Gallagher. After Lip, he's smart, so he tutors her. And uh, she develops a relationship. He develops deeper feelings than she, and she kind of treats him badly, and he still sticks around, but she's kind of the the bad girl of the show. <laughs> uh, but uh, with Clementine, now if you don't know what a Clementine is, it's a orange with a deep orange color, of course, with a smooth taste in the interior similar to a tangerine, and uh, with this EP, Laura seems to be giving us a glimpse into her personal life as a person uh, with these tracks, and appears to be, and she says, she is the exact opposite of the character Karen that she portrays on the show. Um, so let's get started. First track is called Getting Away with Murder, which I presume is about a previous relationship that uh, Laura had with somebody. And uh, throughout the song, it's kind of a rocker type. She says that people had warned her about this guy, and she didn't listen, and she experienced the relationship, and now realizes that uh, he was a cheater and. Now he's on to another girl and other girls, and she says he's getting away with murder. Um, so the next track, two out of four, is called Stepping Out, which, in a sense, details, kind of reminded me of the Gallagher's and, in a way, Lip, because he's the, the brains of the Gallagher family, and he's... You know, he um, kind of wants to get more, like, a career. They want him to get a career. Um, but he, you know, I won't give any more about way about the show, but it just reminded me of Lip and his, his inner conscience. But uh, in this song, she's saying that she wants to leave the house that she's in and wants to build a pure life for her and a pure career and basically wishes the family luck and says we're all ordinary people you know and time's running out she's kinda got that clock you know going on and it's a good song and uh, the next track is For All I Know which is about another relationship and how the guy had treated her wrong and she's basically saying that she could do all these horrible things to the guy she could drip gin or drip poison into his gin she could do all these horrible things to him but she just wants him out of her life forever for all she cares <laughs> she wants nothing to do with the guy and uh, the next track, next track, last four out of four, is titled "Where Have All the Cowboys Gone?" Now this is not the 1977 Paula Cole song that we all know. It's not a cover. It's a completely new song that Laura had written about her um, boyfriend at the time, and I think they're still dating now. For for um, when I looked up, she's now dating James Preston, an actor, and I, that's the only relationship that I know of. 
So I think that's what the song is about. And she's saying in the song, you know, it's not healthy for a girl like me to go after guys with a wild side. And she's basically saying, where are all the cowboys gone, a.k.a. where are all the nice guys gone. It's a country, this one's a country song. It feels that way, and she's she's got a nice vocal range for multiple genres. Uh, mainly, you know, like I say, pop. Or no, no, pop. Well, pop. Pop, rock, and country are the way I feel that if Laura continues to pursue a uh, career in music, she could go either way, pop, rock, or country. She's displayed tremendous vocal skills on the EP, um, Clementine, and she could be a great success, clearly on acting as well as singing, and it's greatly shown on Clementine. Um, it's available on iTunes for, I believe, $18.99, and also on Amazon for cheaper than that. I believe it's like $4.99, but I would recommend getting it uh, if you like many, many genres. I would recommend getting Clementine for you, for your friends, for your family, for all who will enjoy it. Um, I, I, you know, I, I love the the songs. I love her voice. She's she's beautiful, and uh, she reminds me a lot of Emmy Rossum because Emmy Rossum, who plays Fiona Gallagher on the show, has a great vocal range and a great voice and she's also got good looks and I think that if the, if these two teamed up for a duet or for something it would be just as great as their individual albums and I did a review of Emmy Rossum in, a, in the previous Bobby's Vinyl View episode so check that out as well and uh, by the way here I'll show you what Laura's album cover looks like there it is. It says, Laura Slade Wiggins is Clementine. It's on iTunes, Amazon. Um, you know, there's a couple tracks on YouTube, which I'll link here. But uh, it's hard to get, but, you know, once you get it, I'd recommend listening to it. You could, you know, jam out. I, I like, like I say, I love it. And uh, as always, check out. Shameless, it's on Showtime, Sundays, 8 p.m. my time, Chicago, and uh, you'll love it, I swear. It's a great show, provides great entertainment, you'll, you'll see Emmy, and you'll see um, Laura, and you'll love both of their performances, they, they play both of their characters well, and clearly they have great vocals and they have great acting skills so that's it peace and love guys go out and check out laura slade wiggins clementine